very nice time and I knew that was gonna happen I know I told you guys earlier I was kind of reluctant to come but I'm so thankful that I did come Good morning, glory, hallelujah to you. You guys, it is Friday, which still doesn't really matter to you guys because, uh, yeah, by the time you watch this, it probably won't be Friday. It might be Friday where you're at um, when you watch this. Um, anyway, it's Friday and um, it's early. I'm heading to work early today because I have to leave early today. Uh, we are going to cave time. Me and David are going to Cape Town, USA at Dry Gulch in Oklahoma. Have any of you guys been to Dry Gulch? Cape Town, USA. Um, it's something that uh, my husband went to last year. It was just for men last year. And uh, this year, our church and I guess a couple of other churches who put it on, they uh, decided to invite couples. So, of course, if my husband's going, I'm going we're a couple we're a unit so I'm going to um, I'll be honest with you guys I was not looking forward to going um, I just wasn't really looking forward to going I don't know why I guess because it's infringing on my Saturday <laughs> and y'all know I like Saturdays but um, uh, it is what it is you know so but I'm thinking that it's gonna be pretty nice this weekend and uh, we'll have some speakers and stuff there and uh, we'll have like devotional time but other than that we're pretty much free to do what we want to do so um, yeah that'll be that'll be nice to be out there in nature because dry gulch is kind of like a camping area but we're not staying in tents we're staying in like cabin type things but here's the kicker Men and women, husband and wife, do not get to sleep in the same cabin. At least, to my knowledge, we don't get to. So, yeah. And that's why David was kind of like, oh, I don't know about this. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, we're, it'll be interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Look who it is. It's David. You need some theme music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we made it to Dry Gulch and now we are on our way in. We're running a little bit late, but that's a lot of that's due to traffic and construction. So anyway, we made it and I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna enjoy ourselves while we're here. All right, you guys, come on, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> items here. I don't know why we call it housekeeping. We're not cleaning anything, but just in general like housekeeping. single parent homes. So that's something. 
almost twice as many high achievers come from two-parent homes. Child abuse is significantly, significantly more likely to occur in single-parent homes than in homes with, where a father is present. Sorry, I thought you were close. No. We came for bug spray. They don't have any mosquitoes. No bug spray, but I guess we get a candy bar. These, though, the best. Got free games in here. We're gonna play a little bit, and then we'll probably go to bed. Horses. David beat me barely. He came back to win. Look what time it is. It's past our bedtime. <laughs> we need to go to sleep, but we don't feel like it. But we're going to. It's kind of, kind of like little kids at camp. Fun camp. Yeah. I haven't shot a basketball in a long time. We're playing on a little kids' court. Yeah. That's probably why we're doing so good. <laughs> We're just chilling out here, you guys. Burning the midnight oil. Passing gas. <laughs> Goodness. What? <laughs> I can't hear that. Whatever, David. Bugs everywhere. We're just trying to stay up kind of late until we're just ready to go to bed. That way yeah. we fall asleep. Yeah, I don't want to go in there. It's. Well, they got two bunk beds like close to each other, like this close. So basically, I'm like right next to somebody, like that close to somebody. And it's like sharing a bed with somebody. I'm just driving me nuts. I'm on the top bunk, as you guys saw earlier, pointed out to you. Yeah, I gotta pick a bunk, but I'm not trying to be too close to any door, so. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know where to go. This is interesting. This whole setup is very, very interesting. Boom, I decided. I don't know how that's gonna go, but We'll see, that's why I'm waiting. And then I'm gonna take my melatonin once I get in there and make my bed. <laughs> then I'm gonna pass out. We're just out here people watching. We went to the um, anti-trafficking, uh, sex trafficking uh, group, and it was very interesting. Yeah, that's, that's pretty frightening. Pretty scary, you know talked about the statistics and it's very informative so we liked it that's it's, about it yeah it talks about like it could be in every town and every town like small town any zip code and it's happening bye david see him in the morning <laughs>
Good morning, Glory. Hallelujah to you. We are up day two and just had breakfast. This morning we had worship service, a small worship service, prayer service, and then now we're going to, we had breakfast, which was good, and now we're headed to the arcade. Y'all. Yeah, we, we have about 30 minutes before we start. Um, pretty tired. <laughs> How'd you sleep? <laughs> Interesting evening. <laughs> Very tired. Apparently somebody who complained about it last year about people snoring. Apparently somebody was the one snoring this time. How do you know that? Because <laughs> you told me. I woke, my, I woke myself up. Snoring. Oh. Oh, you guys, I'm thankful we had prayer this morning because I woke up in a bad mood. Cause <laughs> sleep, if I don't get enough sleep, I am cranky. 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 <laughs> I won, you guys. I won it, horse. It took some, some fouling, but I won. <laughs> Is that fouling in horse? Doesn't matter. Make my own rules. I'm tired. Look at this guy. This is my old comforter. That's what he brought. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it was comfortable. Yeah, exactly. A comforter. Have you seen those mattresses? <laughs> How was your service? Uh, it, this this is great. This this whole thing is awesome. It's such a such a blessing to be here and um, and I'm, I'm glad we showed up. Yeah. I am too. First things first. Obey your up. thirst. Oh no, that's oh, not me. Wow, that <laughs> that's a Sprite commercial. First things first. I try go. Try go. So we had a very nice time. I didn't record a whole lot of uh, the actual, I guess, was it lecture, sermons? So. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't record a whole lot of that. Uh, we separated, so David was with the men and I was with the women. Great speakers. Uh, the main focus was uh, for us ladies was to not compare ourselves to one against one another. That we should be uniting and encouraging one another and motivating one another. There's no need to compare ourselves with one another. You know, we're all uniquely made and we're all given gifts. So uh, that was very encouraging to hear. Um, wonderful speakers. I had a very nice time and I knew that was going to happen. I know I told you guys earlier I was kind of reluctant to come, but I'm so thankful that I did come because it's very often that I find myself comparing myself and my journey in life to someone else. And uh, there's no need to do that. And so that was a reaffirmation for me for this uh, this weekend to carry on with me so of course I got something out of it I should have known I would have <laughs> yeah it's just following following Christ through every day you know just not not being uh, a follower of the world you know it's so so easy to be a follower of the world uh, fall, fall into darkness they were using Clayton Jennings um, had a good message. Jody Burke, um, Keith Willer, uh, Cliff Graham. Uh, man, I, it's just being basically just talking about being a man and showing up and be a good influence on 
anybody around you, just be, you know, be more of Christ. Have somebody when they look at you, they want to, see, they want, you want people to see Christ uh, in you. Anyway, um, yeah, that we had a great time. We enjoyed ourselves, and I'm extremely exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired, so yeah, it was time for us to just call it a day and go home. I think they have a few more hours and then they're going to wrap it up, but we're deuces. We're out. I was struggling through the last class. Four hours of sleep is a no-no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, we had such a great time. Thank you guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a blessing to do this and be here. So if you hear of Cave Time and you're interested, look it up. Uh, check it out. Right. Thanks guys for coming along. As always, enjoy where you're at and where you be. Bye.